there's no recruitment, so there's no younger fish showing up in the population. The Walleye Watch is just one of many steps that need to be taken to examine both why the walleye aren't recruiting to the population, and it will be in conjunction with a lot of other research that's going on through partners and through the MNRF itself. In order to rehabilitate the population, there has to be a certain amount of biomass, adult biomass in the lake. We still have enough adult fish to rehabilitate the population, but if it slips below a certain level, we won't have that base anymore. We've had the Corth Lakes Fisheries Assessment Unit, which is a, a part of the MNRF, and they've been collecting data on Lake Scugog since the 70s. So we definitely have lots of data to help us look at what the problem is with recruitment on the lake. This could take many years to figure out what all of the, the pieces are that are causing the decline. That doesn't mean that the MNRF is not going to take action. For example, by doing the walleye watch, right away we're looking at what the best places for rehabilitation are. We'll be moving forward with studies in the coming summer uh, to look at the egg viability. So that'll give us another um, tool to look at what stage uh, we may be losing walleye.